But right now, look, it is hot out here. Not even gonna lie, but it is absolutely beautiful, and that's what. And you what, like that? Yes, I do. But this, this, this is a little, this is a little much. This is oh, a little okay. much. I want to send it over to Chief Meteorologist Derek what? Beasley. I know, I, I can, I can hear Rick right now. <laughs> right? But it is, it's hot like that. <laughs> you, you heard him, right? He was like, "Yeah, you've been asking for this. Now you're burning up, huh?" I was about to say, we'll send you back down there tomorrow. It yes. seems like you're having a good time down there. Thanks a lot, ladies. Again, you beautiful day down there for uh, the start of Fleet Week, and it looks like we've got more nice weather on the way. Next couple of days, temperatures going to be cranking up into the 90s. A little bit of a cool down for Father's Day weekend, and then next week is when the real heat starts to build across our area. Right now we're at 82 at the Inner Harbor, 81 for Columbia, 82 Westminster. We've got mid to upper 70s up towards Cecil and Harford County, so Bel Air, Aberdeen up towards Cecilton and Elkton, all in the mid to upper 70s, and it looks like it'll be a very comfortable evening. Humidity remaining low temperatures 80s 70s falling into the 60s here for later on tonight under a mostly clear sky and it's going to give us a bit of a head start here as we go into tomorrow as those temperatures really start to crank up highs expected to be around 90 here for tomorrow afternoon and there's a very small chance that we could see a couple of late day showers popping up across the area. The forecast models have been very persistent when trying to pop up a couple of isolated showers tomorrow. So we'll have that in the forecast. Nothing that's going to be anything too significant. A little better chance for rain coming in, though, later Friday. And we're going to be getting the timing down on this. But it looks like it'll be right at or just a bit before sunset that we're going to see these scattered storms coming in from the north and west. There is a slight or a marginal risk, I should say, a marginal risk, level one of five, for the potential for some isolated wind damage as well as some small hail. This is not looking like the kind of scenario that we had last Wednesday with the tornadoes. That's not going to happen. It looks like this one is going to be primarily a wind threat if any of those storms do happen to get a little bit on the strong side. You can see the chances for rain on Friday do start to creep up during the uh, late afternoon. So once we get through Father's Day weekend, which right now looks fantastic, lower humidity behind that front, Temperatures in the mid 80s, so that's reasonable. High pressure aloft, though, is going to strengthen over our area. That's what this big red oval is here. And when that happens, especially this time of year into the summer, that's when we see big time heat across our area. And this is what we're expecting. There's the temperatures spiking up into the 90s on Friday, cooling back off for Father's Day weekend, and then really ramping up here next week. And the thing doesn't look like it's going to move for several days, so that means. All of next week is going to be hot, maybe even bleeding over into next weekend. So about a seven to 10 day stretch of some hot and dry and humid weather across the area. Highs tomorrow, though, are going to be in the upper 80s to around 90 degrees with that very slim chance for a late day shower. First alert, seven day forecast, 92 Friday. Slight cool down coming up here for Father's Day weekend, especially on Sunday. Looks like highs around 85 after a comfortably cool start. And then the heat is on next week. Highs low 90s Monday and then mid 90s Tuesday all the way through the end of next week with the heat index topping 100. Oh, I've, I just have to let you know personally, I've already prepared my home for this. It's very cold <laughs> in my house right now. My wife has already complained, but I told her, based on your forecast, the heat is coming. The heat is coming. Service that AC and get ready, right? Getting a head yeah. start.